my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is salah speaking first of all my apologize because i was late to make the new live trading video uh, i didn't do any videos since last week and today i'm uh, i'm free and i'm excited actually to share with you this live trading video but before that of course we need to check uh, the signals from the premium group they are really doing so well especially this week uh, we can see that so far we have um, 13 wins against four losses and that is actually a really pretty much high that is like uh, almost um, nearly to 85 uh, percent uh, winning ratio which is really fantastic very good job from Angela and I'm happy for her and for her clients in the premium group and we can see here that we have this message we received or actually Angela received it from one of the members in the premium group and I'm really happy to see his message here saying you are amazing can't believe how much profit I just seen in such little time so yeah actually I'm really happy to see these results uh, we need to bring the awareness that signals cannot do really well every week that is impossible if I tell you that it will be great every week then that is bullshitting to be honest that is not true there will be some days where we where we actually make losses and there will be some weeks and months where we make uh, really good profits that is the nature of Forex that is normal so please uh, if you wish to join the premium group please don't hesitate to find the link to contact Angela in the description of the video please contact her today so you can join uh, as soon as possible and see you there my friends so my friends I wanted to tell you that I have here opened uh, three trades but unfortunately I didn't have time to explain to you what did I do uh, because they, <laughs> the setups happened really fast allow me to explain to you the reason I have opened these trades let's go to the first one it was the GBP CAD the GBP CAD in the four hour chart is right now we can see it on a resistance level after a fake breakout what we can see here is we had here this support level has been breaking out and now we can see how it was really acting as a very strong resistance on this level for a really long time we're talking about almost one month approximately a month since uh, 5th July this level is almost acting as a resistance and here as well so after here we can see let's let's now check the recent time and go to the 15 minute time frame so on the 15 minute time frame we can see that here exactly right here where I triggered my level or triggered my entry 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 level we can see here we had this resistance and here as well and immediately we had the first breakout then what we can see the most important thing is this bearish breakout from this level meaning this market is not able to break from this level and now I entered here on the retest when the candle let me just again show it to you we can see this candle uh, like that oh my god it's like that like that so this red candle has broke from this level of the previous support and this bearish breakout candle we can see it breaking the support and now the market went up to retest the same level and now it reversed and that is exactly where I triggered my area um, sorry triggered my triggered my trade we can see it now reversing exactly on the same level and if I want to set my take profit it should be at the nearest support or resistance and in this scenario the nearest support or resistance is just right here where I'm looking at I'm looking at this one here these two candles are representing the, the nearest support to this level and therefore I am going to make it 23 pips that is, that is a lot that's a lot actually so I really want just I just want to scalp the market I don't want to keep my trades running for a long time so right now we are on six pips of profit actually that's not really bad for a scalping trade uh, I think it, it's gonna keep going more down but I believe let's look at the left we can see here we had a resistance right so this is the nearest resistance to the level meaning I should actually close my trade it's, it's, you see what's happening do you see what's happening now the candle is pulling back up 
now it's reversing the reason it is the reason is this happening it just hit this previous uh, resistance i think that's why i'm i'm really like i like i just like to close my trade quickly once i see it reach the, the desired level instead of waiting it a longer time to hopefully reach uh, my desired level anyway uh, it should be still good trade I believe I will uh, wait for it again to reach this level let's say about 7.5 pips of profit approximately $13 of profit minus the commission that should be like almost um, yeah almost $12 of profit should be fine from the first trade let's go to the next one now and let me explain to you what happened here almost exactly the same thing we can see that on the four hour chart right now I'm on the four hour chart on the GBP USD and what we are seeing is that the level right now is on a resistance zone so we can see here we had a resistance and here we had a resistance and right now I am also on a resistance but let's look deeper on that let's check it out what we can see on the four hour chart is we have this support has been breaking out by this bearish breakout candle okay let's now look at the left we can see exactly a resistance level which was in the past a support so this level is as strong as a resistance as a support and a support as well and we can see in the past also here it was acting as a resistance so again this is only the four, uh, the four hour chart going to the 15 minute time frame we can see it more in action we can see here the resistance and here the very strong reversal happened on this resistance indicating that this level is really so strong very strong level and what we can see from the past also after this fake breakout the market slowly slowly was not able to break from this level and eventually boom it just fall down after this fall the market went up again trying to reach this, this level and of course it failed and this is where I triggered my t my trade uh, with a sell and we can see this uh, green line here and the market is now falling more down so this should be a really good scalping trade <clears throat> I will set my take profit to be at the nearest support or resistance and the nearest support or resistance in this scenario is right here because this is a resistance and here is a resistance this is the, the nearest one to my trade and that's why I'm going to set my take profit to be just almost close to them as much as possible that is 14 pips with $33 profit that is actually fantastic for a scalping session or oh, sorry a uh, scalping trade let's see this one you can see it pulling back that's what I was afraid of but I think the candle still should be going more down <clears throat> because on the four hour chart we can see it now right now on a resistance uh, honestly I think the market will continue to go down all the way to the support here it doesn't seem like the market is going up now but because I just I'm just I'm just scalping the market and I want to finish my trade quickly that's why I just uh, don't want to stay to stay on it for a long time let's check the last one AUD USD AUD USD what I saw here on the four hour chart is a very simple and obvious support number one and support number two we can see here we had this uh, sorry we had this bullish breakout candle which has been followed immediately with a support number one and right now we are on the creation of support number two really simple didn't even need to look at the 15 minute time frame because on the four hour chart it was really so obvious going to the 15 minute or even 30 minutes time frame can make it so much more clear let me just go to the left to show you right on the same level right here we can see here right now we are on the very bottom of the support level and if we check the past as well it was really strong as a support as well we can see it right here and right here and as a resistance as well so this level is strong as again I'm telling you that's why we can see the candles actually reversing and even on the 50 minute time frame we can see a lot of rejection for the breaking out from this level so the market is not able to go below this level 
that is that has been represented by seeing all these tails here these long tails representing a, a strength on the support level and a possibility that is this is a price action of a possibility of reversal so you can expect the market to continue to go more up so the question is how far shall i be expecting the market to keep going up the answer is that the nearest support or resistance and of course in this scenario the nearest support or resistance should be right here this is the nearest resistance to the level and it should be about 12 pips of profit which is fantastic for a scalping trade so now we can see all of these trades are running in profit so far we can see the pound is pulling back a little bit but i believe eventually it will continue to go more down to hit my take profit levels uh, allow me to search now one more trade to take it right front of you uh, because i believe this is way more more educative to take a trade right front of you instead of taking a trades in the past and explain to you the reason why i took them so let's just trade together and i'm just really honestly hoping to find something good so far i cannot find anything worth it uh and the decad and the decad and the decad seems promising yes all right let's check the 15 minute time frame yes seems and i will take the trade immediately so allow me to tell you what happened what i'm seeing here on the four hour chart is right now i'm on a support level if i'm on a support level that means I need to look for any any positions for buy meaning I need to wait the candle to reach a support level on the 50 minute time frame sorry so on the 50 minute I'm sorry on the four hour chart what I'm seeing is I had here a previous resistance and here as well and right here as well so after the market broke out from this level of the resistance now we can see the retest the first retest has passed it uh, worked out uh, then now it's going down again to create a support number two meaning it's creating a second attempt of this of this support usually the second attempt works uh, what we need to see is the bigger time frames always the bigger time frames will give you the better answer that's why when i saw this four hour chart in uh, the decad I switched to the daily chart and on the daily chart what did I see here what I saw on daily chart remember I'm on daily chart this week here this is small week here is representing a support and this is for me a support number one on the daily chart and the candle is now going to create another support number two that is very important because I don't think the candle will immediately break from this wick here. I don't think it's going to happen. The market has to reverse at least one or two times uh, before it's uh, continue to go more down. We can see now the market is, this is the first touch of support number two. So we had here the support number one. Wait a minute. We had here support number one. And here we had the first touch of support number two. That's why I believe the market should continue to go up and it will go and give us some good profit. Now, let's see. Uh, the market, the, my trigger area was here and I should exit my trade at the nearest support or resistance, right? So the nearest support or resistance is actually right here. That is only 2.7 pips. It's not worth it. I will increase it a little bit to be 6 pips with $10 of profit and that should be fine i noticed that the gbp cad has hit the tech profit wait a minute yeah gbp cad has yes indeed it uh, touched the tech profit you can see it, it's even going more down that was a sweet almost eight pips of profit very nice lovely and let's see let's see the others JPP USD is going into five pips of profit. Uh, AUD USD is as well going in profit as well. Very nice. 
and we are just waiting for the NZD CAD, which is still uh, not going in profit so far. Okay, good. GBP. It's, it was very obvious uh, trade for the pound. The pound USD, it was really obvious going down because this is one of the easiest setups you can find. When you see the market is in this price action or in this pattern where you actually can see the resistance level and has been breaking out, but after the breakout, the market went down again below this level. Then you need to catch this candle here. This candle. This is the candle which, which is actually retesting the previous resistance level after the bearish breakout. So that's why it's really one of the easiest uh, and most obvious setups in uh, scalping I know about. And yeah, so far it's going in profit. This one as well going in profit. And we're waiting for this one to go as well. So allow me please to pause the recording and I'll be back to you my friends after this trade finished. Uh, please my friend just allow me to close the pound USD trade because I think that's enough. Almost 9 pips of profit and I don't want to be a greedy person. Yeah, $21. That's more than fine. I'm fine with that. It might be going more down and I think it will continue to go more down. Yes, indeed it's going more down. But I just don't want you to get uh, used to this uh, practice where you get so greedy and chasing the candle until it hit the take profit. Sometimes you just want to cancel it just to get out of the profit. Just secure your profit instead of being uh, greedy or something. Just secure your profit and get out of the trade and that's fine. So now we are uh, in good profit so far. We still have these two trades running and allow me now to pause the recording again and I'll be back to you to show you what happened with these two trades. And uh, my friends, please allow me to close this trade right now because this is the nearest support or resistance to this level. So I place my trade here and this is the nearest resistance to this level right here. So that's why I really don't feel well to keep my trade running uh, longer than that. Uh, it was like about three pips of profit. That is fine. No problem because we're just scalping this trade as well as going uh, nice. I believe we are in about less than two pips. I will just make it like that. This resistance here with 3.8 pips, that should be fine. And by that we will end this session with a sweet almost uh, 40, 42 dollars of profit. And I'm happy with this amount. I'm just waiting for this candle to go a little bit more up to reach this level. You can see it now ranging or actually trying to go up, but it's, it's just uh, pulling back down. That is totally fine because in the end, you are following the four hour chart and the four hour chart is telling you that your trade is fine because you are on the very bottom of the support level. So don't be, don't be worried about your trade. If you are following the bigger time frames and analyzing on the smaller time frames, you should be totally fine. So I think I will just I think I will just close the thread right now because I, I honestly I need to close the video and end the recording and that's it. It's okay. I will uh, accept it because uh, that's fine. Almost forty dollars profit has been made in very short time. That is how you can do scalping, my friends. You can check the market like every, let's say about every four hours. So a new candle on the four hour chart will approach. And once uh, the new candle has appeared, you can start looking for a new setups. So that is example of how you can do the live trading using scalping. Some people or the beginners, they think that when they want to trade, they want to aim big money, big trades, a lot of pips. But the truth is you can make really pro good profit from scalping only a few pips. If you open like four to five trades at the same time, and your, anal your analysis is accurate and you are not rushing, you are not forcing setups to be appeared, then yes, you will be fine. Uh, I really hope this uh, video uh, will help you in the future if you want to open some more trades on scalping uh, trades. Sorry. So my friends, uh, until then, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.